we actually have a special caller here today. Mm. The, uh, some love him, some hate him. It's Infobren. We discovered this guy. We watched him together. He goes into Walmart and just brutalizes people. I just want you to know the cops have been called. This, you guys remember this They are one? on their way. Oh, no. He, he wears spy, he wears spy glasses. Mm. Did you watch this with this? No, I don't know. Yeah. But he wears spy glasses and he goes into grocery stores and just they're on their way. People so bad to pick what you up. You, what are spy glasses? Like sunglasses? Yeah, so they don't know recording. Oh, it does. I'm serious. Yeah. Ah. They are so on their cool. way. Do I know you? Okay. Yeah. That makes it so much better. Yeah, it's authentic. <laughs> I will just be honest with them when they get here. Okay? Uh, who are you? Just to save you some trouble. Just be honest. Who oh are you? God. I'm Bren. What? Bren. Bren? Yeah. I never heard it. I never heard. Well, that's fine. I'm just giving you a warning. <laughs> They're on their way. Okay? So. What did I do? I would just stick around. What did I do? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> yeah. Do you think I'm stupid? We, we had yeah. a really mixed reaction when I showed really? up. Really? Just because, and I get it, right? Because, like, how bad do you feel for this guy? Let's bring in Bren. Let's pick his brain. Let's see who's the mad genius behind. So, when I saw that we were going to talk to this guy, I checked out the TikToks, but I didn't know that. So, I was assuming it's just, like, a phone or something. Oh no, these are real as a heart attack. And then now knowing that, I love it. There he is. A lot more. <laughs> Infobren, uh, welcome to the show. Hello. Well, so, shit in my esophagus. You right. want to climb on top of this? I absolutely do, Bren. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, <laughs> so, Bren, let me ask you this. Do you have a personality disorder or something? <laughs> I don't know. Are you a doctor? I don't have any clinical uh, <laughs> abilities, no. I bite, you know. I've never been to one. <laughs> so, um, do you ever get, yeah, okay. <laughs> Micro Penis Support Club, I see back there. Is that a member, a party, a support group you're a part of? That, that's a friend's, actually. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty small, what we're seeing with the fingers there. Oh, yeah, of course. That is pretty small. Hey, by the way, get a whiff of these, huh? Oh. What happened to your hand? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be drenched in some kind of yeah. red fluid, bro. The blood? Are you blood? covered in blood? I'm taking a break from a rousing game of hemorrhoid hunters. Oh, <laughs> God, dude. That is so disgusting. And did you no find problem. it? I did time for you. Did you win the game? What was the <laughs> results? Kenneth only ever wins the game. Yeah. Mm. There's no losers in Hemroid Hunter. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just want to say it is an honor to be on. Mm. And you're looking real good. Really? Thanks, bro. I Thank feel like you. that was genuine. <laughs> Worse. No, you're looking real good. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Real good. <laughs> So when you when you approach people mm. in where do you usually prowl? Is it Walmart or Target or or you mix it up? Wally World. Wally World. That's I'm assuming Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Do you it's find land the, of opportunity? And do you find the people in Walmart are a special breed that it lends to the kind of content you make? I mean, if they are, I'm part of that breed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You're amongst Nothing your wrong. own. Yeah. <laughs> right. And how is this now? I want to get an experience of being approached by yeah. uh, by, uh, by Bren and the and the Walmart. How close do you get to these people? It seems you get very close. Uh, I don't know, probably four feet, maybe yeah. each time, something like that. I'm wearing hidden camera glasses. When yeah, I can do, we see it? And they usually make me appear like I'm standing a bit closer. Oh, but I try to keep a little bit of distance. You know, mm. here are the. Here are the glasses right there. They actually there. work uh -huh. really good. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. Pretty subtle. Right? Are those expensive glasses like that? They seem really tech. tech These kind. were like 250 These are actually my second pair that I had. That's worth it. I was working with a pair. I bought these ones like eight years ago. And the lens is a little bit more noticeable there. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's also right the yeah. Lens. oh, yeah. Okay, I see. 
I'm actually surprised no one's ever called me out on, on wearing these. And then the lenses came out. They were actually shades to start with. Mm. Ah. And, but yeah, they just croaked on me. So I had to buy these. Uh, these came from China, I believe. Well, I got to say, um, I'm a fan of your work. Uh, I think I, I'm a big fan. I think what you do is incredible. Do you, are you not, are you not like scared sometimes of, to do this, to approach strangers in this way? Have you ever been like, maybe this, maybe I shouldn't be talking to this person right now. Oh, Ethan, I get off on it. Yeah, you must. Yeah, you it, must. It's all I live for. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just crave social interaction. And really? There we the go. Best. We found our extrovert. extrovert. Yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. Do you know ahead of time what you're going to say to them? I find it's better if I kind of go in without a plan. Really? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, obviously, like, I can't help but think of a good line when I'm just sitting at home and I'll write it down. But usually the best videos come when I just kind of work off the dome. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you approach people, are you wearing a bloody shirt like the one you're wearing now? Or that could definitely throw them off. <laughs> Only after I've played hemorrhoid hunters. So occasionally I do. Sometimes. <laughs> Actually, I... during the summer, um, I'm usually just naturally dirty from work. So I'll come... I'll hit up a Walmart after work when I'm driving home or something, and I'll be covered in, like, I seal coat for a living, so I'll be covered in black. Wait, time. what do you do yeah, for a what job? Is, what is your work? Um, we do uh, traffic markings, and part of that consists of seal coating parking lots, uh, striping roads. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're, you're a working man. Yes, sir. You're a salt-to-the-earth kind of guy. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so you, I like that. So you come home all nasty and <laughs> dusty and shit and you just get oh, right yeah. into it. Oh yeah. Especially during steel coast season. Dude, it's your, terrible. your dedication is really something, man. I gotta say, uh, I, I think there's only maybe a handful of people in the entire world that could do what you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Yeah. Um, here's one. This is one of my favorite ones. I think this is the first one I saw of yours. Uh, you should be able to see it on well, your chew on my wings. The one where you go, approach Am this guy. Am I really guy. seeing this? You approach this guy. Oh, what do you... Yeah, what... Did you just eat something out of your sleeve? SpaghettiOs. <laughs> what is this? SpaghettiOs. 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 Oh, 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 SpaghettiOs. And that's in your shirt pocket, is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. I was feeling famished. It's, just, it's got meatballs, see? The shirt, oh. yeah. Oh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Filthy Frank special. And do you kind of just you you do you usually eat your lunch out of your shirt pocket like that or is if I'm busy? Right. <laughs> I am now, you know. Is I'm it, not is, it to leave is it cold or is it room temp? The spaghetti. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I only eat them cold. That's the best. Way. That, that, yeah, yeah. that doesn't look like a heated room wherever you are right now. Yeah. No, no, my nipples are rock hard right now. <laughs> so the what, spaghettios are on ice. <laughs> oh, what what kind of uh, where do you live about? Hold on, I'm gonna wash that down. <laughs> Pickled spinach. Pickled, Pickled sphincter. 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 Actually, yes. I'm... Let me see the. Was that a butthole? <laughs> yeah, it's my butthole. Oh, oh. Look, that looks like a close up of a end of a hot dog. No, it's my butthole. What do you think? You like it? It's clean. Well, yeah, I try yeah. to keep it clean. Of course. No. So where about Otherwise, it starts to smell a little bit like green tarry stool, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, see, that, that is just foul, dude. Shame on you. Whereabouts well, do you live in the country? Washington State. Mm. Okay, interesting. So that's kind of... Find some characters around there. I was going to say, he's the most normal Pacific Northwest. Yeah, you might be the most normal guy in the state. <laughs> I might be, yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that, you know. And are you, do you have any plans of quitting your day job and pursuing harassing people full time? That would be lovely, Ethan. Mm. That would absolutely be lovely. You know, I've been having back problems mm. and I feel like if I could just stop doing what I'm doing right now, I could prevent further, you know, chronic pain down the line. Right. But the uh. chronic pain might be part of the, what we like about the character. It's true, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe. wise man. And I got to say, you have the drippiest little earlobes. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> what? Just flick those puppies all day long, baby. That makes yeah, that makes me very uncomfortable. Does it? <laughs> it absolutely does. What do you say we get underneath the blanket? You know, I got a flashlight. And you just flick them all day long, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Okie doke. Thank you though. Appreciate that. <laughs> Are you? But you got to be making some money from your TikTok now, right? Is there? Is there I mean, I don't know. TikTok isn't, isn't you know known for paying very well. Yeah, I make a little bit and it does save my ass, especially in the wintertime because we don't get much work in the wintertime. So uh, I'm grateful. Yeah, it's a it's it's a little bit, but it's enough to kind of pay my bills. And damn, because we I also wonder, get unemployment and then that goes into it. Too. I wonder what can we do to build this into like a bigger kind of platform where you can make a little more I, sustainable money. I do. F I don't know if you have a cameo, but I feel like you'd be great at it. Oh, cameo? Have you thought about that? I do have a cameo. Okay. Okay. Excellent. What is it? Let's shout it out. Add Infobrand on cameo. Okay, Infobrand on cameo. So that's and, good. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up, so if you want me to creep out the misses. <laughs> also, speaking of which, I just want to say, if you are planning on sending your ex flowers for Valentine's Day, don't send them just any flower. Send them this. <laughs> Specific flower found on infrabrand.com oh, or views.com. Love that. We coat each and every one of our flowers in ass juice. Okay. Okay. Special smell. <laughs> it smells pretty, pretty foul. Not gonna oh my God. Okay. Imagine if you sent that to your mom. <laughs> well, if you hate your mom. Maybe I'm leave that on goof. the gravestone of your enemy. <laughs> and don't waste it on anybody who's experiencing uh, like COVID-19 or anything, because I hear it may kill them. Uh. Well, no, no. I mean, they can't even smell it anyway. So what's the oh, point? I see, I yeah. see. It doesn't matter if it kills them. I don't care about that. Right, right. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, but I wonder how we can build this into a... Into a, yeah, into a real career for you. Do you have a YouTube channel? Maybe making some long form kind of content? I do. Yes, I, I have. A, it's the same name on YouTube. Info Info Brand. Mm. Um, I used to actually, I started it in 2012. <laughs> Your cat is God. so cute. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Yeah. I'm trying um, to get up into that sphincter juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he smells it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I used to do, I don't know if you've ever seen, I, I used to do the uh, sex noises in a library videos like 10 years ago. Let me try to. No one oh, else wow. Was, no one else was doing it, too. That's so actually I how I discovered you back in the days. Oh, wow. I've been watching oh, you for a long time. Okay, okay, okay. By the way, this is Infobrand on YouTube. Uh, almost 200,000 subs. We love to see it. Let me oh. sort by popular. Sex noises in the library. I've never seen this. You're not going to claim me, are you, Bren? <laughs> no. Oh, no, shit. Oh, I don't. It's or start with the me. second one, maybe. Yeah, that okay. That's maybe better. Second one's better. All right, let me go back here. Sex Noise in the Library Part 2. Yeah. This one's not age restricted. Oh. Shh. I so feel like I remember these videos. Me too. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, that's me in the green hoodie there. I totally remember this video. Whoa. This that's is you? you? This is him. That's me. Oh Whoa, what happened to you, man? You have fallen on hard times, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is all intentional. It's all intentional. Yeah. Of course. I, I gained about 50 pounds in the last year just to people didn't say that I matched my voice. So, <laughs> dude, you are dedicated, man. I love what you do. <laughs> Have you always wanted to do comedy? Are you uh, is that what your yeah. ambition is to be a comedian? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you are funny, man. Yeah, and you you're fearless. Definitely. You are a fucking fearless. Have you ever tried stand up? I have. Yeah, I used to do open mics over at the Tacoma Comedy Club. As another one of my characters, Silas Brown, uh, who's a real pompous son of a bitch, <laughs> wears a turtleneck, you know, and a we don't lot cleaner than I am now. But yeah, and I, and my first time actually, I mean, they they tell you when you go up for your first time that uh, it's like crickets, but I I did really well. So why didn't you why didn't you keep it up? 
work in life. Yeah. And shit. And yeah. I just didn't <laughs> get into a rhythm of going back and back, you know? Yeah. You ever thinking of moving to the big city, coming down to LA, take a swing at showbiz? <laughs> Boy, I don't know, man. I'm not a, I'm not a city boy really by nature, but uh, I do like it down there. I visited down there a few times. Hey, want to know a funny story? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Think. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. This is actually kind of kind of wild. But I was once the star of a uh, gay pornography on the internet. You were the star. <laughs> really? Yes, a non-sexual role, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is all a true story. I'm 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 dead ass serious. So this guy hit me up uh, via the emails about late 2021, and he was a big uh, like fan of my content. And I was doing the same thing, kind of I'm doing now, creeping people out and all that. <laughs> and he said, "Hey, I'm a." It said like big opportunity, <laughs> and the, you know. And he's like, "Hey, I'm a I'm a producer." And he goes on to say, you know, he's obviously like a porno producer, like uh, the gay porno, uh, that variety. Uh, yeah, yeah, the variety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he goes, you know, um, I'd love to fly you down here to Vegas and uh, kind of get you into this production that I'm working on. He bought like this trailer park out in the desert, right? Abandoned trailer park, like fucking five miles out of the day. I think it's Pahrump, you know, Nevada. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, he kind of tells me, he's like, yeah, I, uh, I want you to basically do what you do on TikTok, but it's going to end with a bunch of dudes fucking each other. Why? Why does he think that'd be good? <laughs> and he goes, you don't have to be part of that. I just want you to basically, you're going to be going up to these people in a trailer park and it's going to look like you're, you know, creeping them out. And then when you hand them the, and at that time I had a bleach beers a year. And when you hand them the bleach, you're going to convince them to drink it, and then they're going to get all horny and just start boning each other. What? Why, Why yeah. does he think that that was... Oh and did you accept the offer? I did, yeah. He he paid me four grand, which took like okay. maybe four hours of my time. Damn. So how did it turn out? Down there, all paid food and everything. It was lovely. You know, he promised I wouldn't see anything, but... And I'm a little upset because I ended up seeing some cocks, some rather large... <laughs> It's fine, uh, you know. I can understand as you're a member of the Micro Penis Support Club. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that might. Uh, yeah, I was very intimidated. Yeah, <laughs> I can understand. Well, that is interesting. Um, yeah. What is the name? Or we'll, we'll we'll fact check that uh, another time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I never saw it. Let, I'm gonna watch now, this I'm video. I'm not even sure if it made it to huh. its final point. You don't watch your own work. Well, I think Do you I think this would... guy maybe was razzing you up? Maybe it's not. Maybe this guy was getting off on you watching two dudes have sex. And maybe there was no gay porn. He brought you out to the middle of nowhere that so a... that for his own weird private collection. Have you thought about that? Just some fucking like rich dude who just yeah. wants you. To... Yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely a possibility. <laughs> but you did get paid at the end of the day. So I, I did. Hey, let me let me. Let I'm me, in Vegas too. Let me sneak a peek at this here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Harder. Oh, you're actually making the sound. Oh yeah. Wow. You. So you you have a even when you looked like a fresh young buck with this future ahead of him, unlike now, uh, you you were uh, you were you were comfortable making people uncomfortable. Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> Interesting. I, I realized early on that uh, there's no reason to feel uncomfortable in a social interaction, you know. And once you realize that and start to kind of have fun with it, <laughs> it's life changing, you know. Uh -huh. Absolutely life changing. You could be a life coach. I yeah. think there's a lot of people <laughs> that could benefit from your. Uh, yeah. I your DAO. We, we so were just speak. talking about it today. About the DAO of Bren. Most of us here are introverts and yeah. we don't know what to say <laughs> in conversations. It's yeah. like jumping into a pool the first time, but then you just start to love it, don't you? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're so crazy for this. 
This is nuts. <laughs> also, like, I don't know if this is how you normally dress, but you look so unassuming. Yeah, like, so mm -hmm. normal looking. <laughs> yeah, Bren's getting up there for <laughs> grabbing something. I was just grabbing my cat, you know. Oh. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Are you by yourself or are you with friends when you're filming this? Oh, uh, with those ones early on, I always had at least someone with me to be like the camera guy. Yeah. Nowadays, I'm always by myself. Dude, um, that's why I'm, I'm with glasses, and it's much easier that way. I don't have to count on anyone to get content, you know? Mm -hmm. There's something about going out there by yourself that is ex um, particularly psycho psychotic to me. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Shit, it's just crazy, dude, what you do. I feel like especially with them not knowing that there's a camera involved, because a lot of times we shot stuff out in the, you know, with people out in the open, and I would be holding the camera, so it was almost like a, a shield, like, well, they, they know we're just doing something for the camera. Mm -hmm. So you feel more comfortable because of that, at least for me. But in your case, it's like... Pure psycho energy. You were yeah. just you. <laughs> In my case, that ruins it because then they know it's mm -hmm. a joke. Right. Yeah. I just, I just want them to think that's, I'm actually a psychopath. You know yeah. I mean? So do you, do you usually put content on, or has shit go, gone so sideways ever that you couldn't even post it? No, actually, I always post everything I film unless there's like a technical difficulty or it's just extremely boring or the camera mm. cut something like that. Mm -hmm. But, um. I think one of my craziest videos, at least within the last couple of years, is it's my first pinned video on on the TikTok page, and it's the fisherman video. Where I'm pulled up for you. I'm pushing. Well, chew on my weenus. Sorry. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna open it up so we can see. Of course. Yeah. yeah so it's the pinned one. Or I don't know if actually pin doesn't work on desktop. Here, AB's grabbing it from Okay, we got it. Yeah, so go, go on. I'll pull it up as you describe it. Of course. So, so, uh, so this dude was just probably as insane as me, maybe even a little bit more. <laughs> See, that must have scared you because you're doing <laughs> shtick, but this guy's actually the real deal. I kind of felt like we were like vibing off each other. Okay, you know? okay. Yeah. And it was the first time where like, one of these um really kind of took off because i got this the tuna juice uh beers he was yeah tuna. check this out oh i had yeah this guy's a legend i have seen yeah. this it this 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 is the one that this man sniffs your bloody finger yes yeah. and that blew my fucking mind with tuna juice on it and then and then he drinks the tuna juice here let's take a look so this this is kind of the most off the walls one you've had i feel like it is yeah yeah <laughs> Just out. When you walked away from this guy, where you're like, wow, that was really something. <laughs> um, especially so, and just before you start it, to give you a little context, look for this while you're watching it, because I definitely could sense that the things I was saying, as random as they were, he was somehow misinterpreting them to be like gay come ons, you know? Oh, really? And let's just say he was code. not against it. And he uh, wanted something a little bit more than tuna juice. Okay. I see. He wanted some brand juice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a request to see the cat. Is that possible? People Absolutely. Are, Come here, little Nicky. People little are Nikki. loving the loving the kitty. Come, Come on, little Nicky. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is that an homage to Adam Sandler's uh, character? <laughs> Absolutely. I love Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh. Oh, what you. Yeah, we love that. See, he's a real. See, every, that softens people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's adorable. Yeah, he's like a, a year old. Oh. oh, wow. Year and a half, maybe. All right, let's see your kindred spirit out there in uh, Walmart. <laughs> so, Wait, what is that? That's from a good time, let me tell you. You want to smell it? <laughs> what kind of fucking. <laughs> Who would smell that? It's crazy. <laughs> he's looking immediately. He's like, I can't tell if you're cool or not right now. I don't know. Oh, I'm cool as shit, buddy. Dolphin Delphi 5. five. <laughs> Dolphin Delphi 5. Yeah. <laughs> you want some? Always. 
Wait, we're here on the same oh, kind of mode, aren't we? It's made for finches. Wait, what did he mean by that? He uh, said we're on the same wavelength right now. So that's um, what you mean? Wavelength, yeah. I'm, I'm probably. I think meth. Maybe he was talking about meth. I don't want to get too specific, you know. I mean, <laughs> some, some kind of drug. Yeah. yeah, that was my impression. Oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. I like how he's like, "Yo, my dog, we're in this mm -hmm. together right now." It's <laughs> awesome. But humans can drink it too. Finland. Finches. That's where you're from, Finland. No, <laughs> it's tuna juice, <laughs> and it's made for finches, but humans can drink it too. <laughs> you want to taste? I'm a commercial fish. This man. Yeah. Tuna is my thing to fish for, but like, what is this? It's carbonated tuna juice. <laughs> It's made for finches, but humans can drink it too. <laughs> hey, people from Finland are humans too. No, it's made for it's made for finches. Finches. No, that's delicious. Finches. <laughs> it's made for finches, but humans can drink it too. It's a finch. It's a little bird. I have ten of them. Get the fuck out of here. It's tuna juice. <laughs> this is and unreal. It's made dude. for finches, but humans can drink it too. <laughs> Try this again. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Can you Wait, smell it? This is unreal. <laughs> no. You're not selling me a product right now, are you? <laughs> of course not. I would never. It's got 69 calories. <laughs> 69. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, what, what beer does that mean? That's the company it comes from. So there is alcohol. Let, let me ask you, what's in the can? Uh, it's usually just <clears throat> seltzer water. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, actually, sometimes I use like a Budweiser Zero, which is not completely not. Oh, that's it makes good. them think that is beer, you know, and they're uh -huh. like, Ooh, <laughs> that's good. I like how you do that. <laughs> and what, how do you do that? You design the labels and you kind of glue them on. Like, how, what's the process of creating those? So, um, it's, it's not actually my company. Um, the guy linked up with me to promote them, but it's, uh, his name's Kyle and he runs this company. It's called Beerzy. Mm. And that's what they are. And they just slide over like right now. I'll, oh. I'll be honest with you. Oh. I'm just drinking. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that is revolutionary. <laughs> that's that's cool. the behind the curtain. Wow. You can get uh, a ton of them on uh, his website, beersy.com mm. or mine. It all comes from the same place, but on infobrand.com, you actually get all these, which were specifically, we curated these ones for. Like, I see that. Stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, that's awesome. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. That's super cool. Absolutely. <laughs> there could be. <laughs> Here, try this again. Dude. <laughs> yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> well, you're the best that, salesman I've ever met. That came from my old <laughs> I got two buckets of sardine paste in the trunk of my Accord if you want to meet me out there and dunk your head in it with me. Huh? Wait, with you? <laughs> yeah. Is this really happening? It's really happening. I can't tell if you're gay or a salesman. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not, I'm not sure. Are you a gay, gay salesman? You ever have pickled sphincter? Huh? I could see how you would misinterpret the pickled sphincter uh, moment there. In hindsight, oh, I has. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. He goes straight for it, too. Huh? It's weird because that one's better than that one. Yeah. What's your name? Brenna. Yeek! <laughs> Try this again. Dude, this man smelled your finger five times. So you're going to meet me out there or what? Please? Yeah. Where? Out in the parking lot. We'll get real weird, real wild. No, I can already tell. I yeah. can already tell. You're like, you're like the dude I met on Craigslist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got to find the dude he met on Craigslist. <laughs> the final boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like my kind of guy. <laughs> what an encounter, my goodness. Yeah. That's special. That was a special moment you had there with him. Absolutely. And uh, there was there was a part two, but basically uh, he ended up following me to check out and the conversation continued mm. and uh, I was able to avoid doing any gay stuff in my Honda Accord with him by uh, he, he, he just happened to bring up the fact that he was crab fishing over the summer. And I said, well, speaking of crabs, you know, I, I got a ton of crabs down there. I just want to let you know. Uh. It goes, oh, so. So, so I should just leave right now then. Uh, nice job. Yeah, it's up to oh you. Speaking of crab, speaking of crabs, <laughs> I have AIDS. <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, um, also one I uh, really, you know this happened recently. You had this incredible story arc with this guy who you went to, you said the cops are coming. This video got what, like 15 million views. Oh, wow. And then you did a ton of videos with him. How did that yeah. all work out? So, um, he obviously ended up seeing the video. I think one of his coworkers showed it to him and he commented on it and uh. got the comment. I went to his page and sure enough, there was a video of him like dancing around in his mm -hmm. apartment or whatever. And I was like, Oh shit. So I reached mm -hmm. out and asked him to meet me at Walmart. Oh. And then, uh, as soon as I got out of my truck, you know, I, I had the glasses on <laughs> and I got another video with him just doing my thing again and after that i kind of got him like uh dropped the character a bit i kind of asked him like what was his thoughts on what happened the first time and i got that in a video as well it was yeah. a oh. video, which i don't usually do hello maurice mm -hmm. hey brand how you doing i'm doing good so our video got 10 million views how do you <laughs> feel about that i just want you to know the cops have been so are you guys homies now because you guys made a ton of videos together yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> Hello, Maurice. That's hey, so. That's so. so uh, awesome. That's magical, yeah. man. Yeah. Making friends the most fucked up <laughs> way possible. Yeah, we, we had a little uh, birthday soiree soiree for me uh, the other week, which he came to, and uh, oh, that's uh, awesome as well. And then some of the guys I met at my meetup also came out. So. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I gotta say, man, I think you got a lot of talent. Yeah. I think you got a lot of potential. You're super funny and you're fearless. So <laughs> keep going, dude. And um, uh, I don't know. What do we do from here? You have a plan? <laughs> you got a plan or you just want to keep grinding? I'm just going to keep trucking, yeah. you know, yeah. as they say. Um, and I just want to thank you again for having me on. And before, uh, before you guys take off, yeah. I want to <laughs> ask you. Have you ever wanted to tarnish the relationship between maybe a friend or someone you know and their male person? Yes. Yes. All the time, my dude. All right. So do I have the thing for you? These <laughs> are prank packages, which... You can get on my website, infrabrand.com or Beersy once again. And you can fill them with <laughs> on the website, other Beersies, merch, but they come like this. They show up at the door like oh this. Oh my God, dude. That is so, so vile. So this is one of them, uh, the world's biggest dildo. <laughs> That's awesome. Of course. And then, you know, oh, there's shit. just so many here. Pickle Sphincter. We got a. Uh, um, Gay Porn Mag of the Month Club. <laughs> <laughs> and a Drag Queen Starter Kit, you know. <laughs> Just something for everybody, you know. We got used granny panties here. Uh, yeah. Those oh, are great, panties. actually. This um, is actually one of them as well, which I hung up there for you all to see. So. I love it. I love it, man. Thank we, you. I wonder what, I wonder, hmm. You know how, like, we try, I try to get White Claw Gabe to interact with people, but, like, obviously that's not his thing. We got to send you out to, like, Ace Fest, bro. Yeah, on the scene reporting. One of these YouTube things. He, he's, consider, he's considering perhaps collaborating or hiring yeah, you to uh, do be an on the scene reporter for yeah. us. On, it's, yeah, it would be a man on the street for us. In yeah, the be our man on the segment. street. Yeah, you're our man on the street. Would you be <laughs> open to that? I would absolutely be open to that. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be fucking what is it called again? I'm sorry. Well, I, I just threw it. There was an that was event one we called went to Ace earlier Fest. This year. It's, it's nothing specific, but I yeah. want to send you places. But like, yeah, if there's some kind of a, a Yo, event of influencers, maybe, or <laughs> like Adult Con or Fist Fest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fist Fest. Oh, Fist Fest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds and good. You got a Finger Fest as well? Finger there Fest, for sure. Bro, imagine you going to like Adult Con, getting people to smell your finger. That'd be so wild. One of Seaman's oh. parties, perhaps? Oh, yeah. Oh, my, oh, my God. God, bro. His book my God. All right, we're going to figure this out. We'll yeah, be in we touch, but more. I think I think we got to, we have to continue this journey. We need to find a way to collaborate. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am totally down 100%. <laughs> Thank you. In for brand forever. And by the way, our I'll, I'll be honest, our audience was kind of torn on your content at first because 
for obvious reasons, right? <laughs> but I feel like you've won everybody over after our, our conversation. That's it's, great. It's all enthusiasm for InfoBrand here at the H3 Podcast. <laughs> Thank you for having me on, and you two take care. Thanks, buddy. You, you keep doing your thing, okay? Yeah, keep it up. Thanks, man. I will. All right, we'll, 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 all right. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> You gotta get real close to the camera. See you later. <laughs> Just gonna hit the dusty trail. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> All right. See you, buddy. Things to do, places to be. Yep, us too. Yeah, no, I got a whole show to do, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, fuck off. All me right. too. All right. Cool. Cool. Take care yeah. now. Okie doke. You as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Happy yeah. new month to you as well. Oh, happy new month. Yeah, happy February, new month. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to roll. Get on out of here. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Thank you for coming <laughs> with me on this journey as well. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I could stare into those tears fears for hours, let me tell you. <laughs> All right. Take care, buddy. All Appreciate right. you. All right. All right. We'll, we'll talk. We'll Catch talk. We'll talk. Catch you later. Yeah. Now it's just love. Hi, love. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know what? When you get people like this on, you never know what to expect. Yeah. I love it. Oh, great. He's he was great. a great one, man. Yeah. He kind of has the act, the reminds me in some ways as the flush light guy. I feel like those yeah. two guys are on the same wavelength. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Al he's so talented. I actually wish mm -hmm. him, I, I hope he's out there and can uh, make a living. Yeah, but there you go. You guys see, he won you all over.